Hello there, Ray here, and behind me is a new farm for 1.14. This is an AFK Wither Rose farm that we designed up on stream last night. Thank you to everyone who came out for the stream, it was a lot of fun. The Wither Rose is a new flower that came out with 1.14 snapshot. The way that this is produced in the game is that when a Wither kills a mob, when the mob dies, it will try to plant a flower on the block that he is standing on. Wither Roses have a unique property that if you come near them and touch them, then you will get the Wither Effect done to you. So you can see in the top right I'm having the Wither Effect and it lasts about 2 seconds. If I get off of it, it's not going to last very long, but it will do damage to you. This allows Wither Roses to be somewhat like Magma Blocks, but allows them to also kill some mobs that you cannot kill with Magma Blocks. A lot of people have been asking for like a spike-like item for Minecraft, and I think this is what they kind of came up with. So stuff like Blazes can't be killed by Magma, but you can kill blazes with the wither rose. This makes it useful for a lot of different farms where you want to kill off mobs. Especially in farms where mobs do not die from magma, you can put these in and they will die, such as blazes. But mobs like the wither skeleton as well as the wither don't take any damage from fire or from wither effects, so this doesn't affect either of them. Unlike other flowers, which mainly can be placed on dirt other variations of it, Wither Roses can be placed on top of any block that can also place a rail on top of. So things like hoppers, you can place roses on top of, even like soul sand, you can place them on top of magma blocks. Although the combination of a magma block plus a wither rose doesn't kill a mob any faster than just a wither rose by itself. This makes the wither rose an ideal way to kill a lot of mobs and a lot of different types of farms. I'm really excited to implement this into a lot of my previous farms. Wither roses can also be used to make suspicious stews, and it's pretty much just a normal stew, and you add a flower in here. Each flower gives you a different type of effect, and if you put a wither rose in there, you will get a suspicious stew that will give you the wither effects. So if I eat the suspicious stew, you will see that I will get the wither effect. The effect only lasts for a few seconds. This could be useful in getting the advancement. How did we get here? Because in this advancement, you would have to get every single type of effect that's in the game. And now there is a new saturation effect that comes from these stews, as well as wither effect can also come from these stews, meaning you don't have to have a wither skeleton or a wither with you to get this advancement. The way that my farm works is that we have a wither stuck here in the bedrock cage. He is then shooting using his main head at these endermen that he sees over here. Every time he shoots a skull, he does a bunch of damage to them, and they happen to be at low health, so with one hit, they will die. When they die, they will die from the wither, and because of that, they will drop roses. So we have some hoppers underneath here, which can pick up the stuff. You see we get tons of enderpearls, as well as a bunch of wither roses. You can see this farm is very efficient at producing wither roses. Now the endermen are falling down from a spawn pad up above. You can build this out of whatever material you want. We just chose endstone. And up here, the endermen would spawn in, and then they would see this endermite, which we have name tagged and put into a minecart, and they would come after him, and we have some trap doors around this hole so that they'll try to walk to the center of it and they end up falling down the hole and being killed by the wither. Currently there is a major bug with 1.14 snapshot where mobs are unable to spawn as they normally would. The other men will fall down here and they'll fall just under 42 blocks. That way they just have low health and won't immediately die when they hit the ground. I tried to design this farm to be a somewhat simple startup. So it's not too difficult to build like a platform like that, get an endermite, put it in there. This is pretty simple here. Most complex thing is just this wither cage here. And as you can see, there's just a wither that is inside of some bedrock. So I'll show you how you can get this wither in here. Just, let me just remove this one. You just summon in the wither underneath like this. Put the skulls in there. Then he will be inside of here and he'll slowly rise upward. You see he gets to the top and he can't float any higher. Even though his image is going higher, his hitbox is still the same. And then he just explodes in there pretty much and then you can um, have your endermans come down and land in here and he can go ahead and attack them. Now when the endermen fall down and take damage from falling, they will try to teleport in a 64 by 64 by 64 area around looking for places to spawn to. And that's why we went ahead and put double carpets on top of these bedrock pieces here. And we also went ahead and just placed on water over top of this part of the island. I think water is probably the most simplest way to prevent the endermen from trying to teleport down there. Now you can use any type of gateway portal that you can find. So this one here is an entrance gate portal that goes to the main end island. You can also use an exit gate portal. Like if you go through this one, this would be considered a exit gate portal. This is where it ends up here. Or you can use like a random gateway portal, which is ones that just randomly generate throughout the end dimension. Um, if you don't want to waste these portals, 
and go ahead and find a random one and that way you know that there's always more of them out there you don't have to worry about having to destroy this because what you'll do next is you want to prepare it and you don't want this portal block to be in here because it'll teleport the endermen through here so you just put down a trapdoor like I did here and then shift click on the back side of this trapdoor with a lava bucket and this will destroy the portal block and then from there you can build up your farm a lot of gateway portals will generate at Y level 60 or 70, which is quite high, meaning your farm on top of that would make it even higher. So by having the spawning pad of your enemy farm pretty high up, it means the spawns would be much lower. And because of this, it's probably a good thing if you want to avoid that, as well as avoid going ahead and having to fill in a large area with water to prevent endermen from teleporting out of your farm. Just go ahead and having your gateway portal generate out here in the void. This is a really cool technique that I discovered where you can generate gateway portals out between the main end island as well as the outer end islands. And I'll link to the video down in the description if you want to learn more about how you can do this. This allows you to be able to generate them quite low. You can't generate all the way to the bottom of the world, but you can get around to Y level about 40 or so, which will help out quite a bit with this farm. When designing this farm up on stream, we first had the idea to hold the wither in similar to like I did with my simple tree farm, just by using this bedrock formation here, and then having the wither tack chickens that came from like a chicken farm. And this is a pretty good idea, although chickens you have to have quite a few of adult laying chickens just to keep up for a sustainable amount of wither roses to be produced. Acumu suggested on stream that I should use the exit end portal bedrock to have the wither be held in and have the endermen come towards the wither here by having an endermite on top. And then when the endermen were up close to the wither, he would shoot at them and then this would cause them to die from his damage. This was actually a pretty good idea. It uses a lot of the techniques that I showed before, such as having the wither inside of the bedrock formation, which I used in an old endstone farm, as well as in the video where I showed how you can make a simple ender pearl farm just by putting an endermite on top of this and having them teleport over into the overworld and having them killed there. With this technique, you would have to remove these portals, and you can do that just by using like a water bucket. Notice how they gave the portals a new texture when they're breaking them, and that is of the obsidian. And then you would have to come in here and break this bedrock, and you can do that in survival with pistons still, but it's kind of difficult. And what you do is you'd go underneath and summon in the wither underneath, and then he would have his head sticking out of here. And then as the enderman came close to the enderman that we had on top, then they would eventually be killed by him. Then you'd have to pick up the loot by using rail tracks from underneath to pick up all the items. It was a good idea, but it was a little bit difficult for a couple of reasons, as enderman would sometimes track an enderman that would teleport far away, and then he would kind of forget about all the endermen that are kind of standing around him, since he's just trying to go after that one that's far away. Now it is possible to move this exit end portal up and down, in your world if you haven't generated the end dimension first. And I showed a video about this, which I'll also link down in the description, in which case you can bring this down to the very lowest part of the world, allowing you to have the enderman spawn very quickly and making this farm even faster yet. We try to get the wither rose by using other means besides the wither, but it seems that using the wither rose itself doesn't work or using like wither skeletons to get stuff wither doesn't work as well. It seems like the wither has to actually kill the mob for it to produce a wither rose. And it seems that it can't just be the wither's explosion, like here's explosion damage. It's not creating any wither roses in this situation. Now the only thing about this farm is that I did not include an on and off switch for the wither. Currently, if he doesn't have anything to shoot at over here, he will just randomly kind of turn around and try to shoot like an enderman that are way off in the distance, or else he'll try to shoot just randomly since he doesn't have a target at all, in which case he's going to be turning, and his side heads can shoot off skulls, and these skulls can break stuff like that. And because of that, it is important to probably put an off switch in there, unless you would move the contents of this farm before leaving, or just go ahead and unload the wither from like a location far away and just not visit him normally. Now if you wanted to do an on and off switch, all you would have to do is have a mob that is above him be able to get moved into location. Like if you would put a chicken here, he would see that chicken and then he would try to shoot it. Now you'd want to put the chicken a little bit to the side, that way he is turned. And when he's turned, then his two side heads will be on either side, very similar to like my simple tree farm. And you can put this chicken like in a minecart, and then you can move this chicken far away, in which case he will no longer be looking at this chicken, and then he'll be concentrating on these endermen in front. You can't have the chicken here all the time, otherwise he'll just look at this chicken and he'll never attack the endermen. Now before starting the farm up, make sure there's no roses that get planted in here. Typically, if there's just a couple of endermen that come through here, a rose could be planted on top of the hopper. 
But when the farm is running, it's not a problem because the Wither will be shooting at the Enderman over here. And when he shoots and kills the Enderman, he'll also destroy the same rose that the Enderman produced if it comes here on top of the hopper. So you'll never see like a rose on top of the hopper when the Enderman farm is completely on. Now the majority of the time, the Wither will be shooting out a Black Skull, in which case having stone around here will prevent him from destroying it. But if you leave him idle, he will be able to shoot up Blue Skulls, which can destroy stone as well as anything else. So there's really no point and making it too fancy because he could come in here and destroy it and I just put in some glass box up above but you can put any type of block you want there as well. Now there is a chance that the wither could shoot off a blue skull in which case you can't just have obsidian above him that's not good enough because he could shoot the blue skull kind of upwards end up breaking the obsidian which is unlikely but especially if you leave him idle without a target that could happen. But with a bedrock cage like this he won't be able to break it and escape. So to operate this farm, normally you would just go up 120 meters from where the Enderman hit the ground and just have a glass block up here, and this is where you would AFK. Then the Enderman wouldn't really be able to spawn around the island there, but they would be able to spawn this platform and also be able to be way down there by where the hoppers are. But currently there is a bug to do with mob spawning, so there's no way to really test the rates of it. But as you've seen from the loot, it does produce quite a bit of wither roses. Now there's multiple things wrong with the mob spawning that we noticed. And first off is that there is way over the mob cap worth of mobs in the world. So if I just go over here, you can see there is close to 200 entities. And we had at times to go up to as much as 600 entities uh, with endermen around here. So on this island, there's probably around by 800 around the edges and everything. So the game is spawning way more than what the mob cat would normally allow. We also had some very strange stuff occur. If I would be like in spectator mode, and then I have a different player go over away from the end dimension, they would all despawn. And then as soon as I would come back into creative mode, they should be able to respawn, but they would never would. And then they would only respawn for that player when he came back. And it didn't matter if we switched the players up, it just kept causing problems. Also, if we would just go completely in the void and make a platform for the endermen to spawn on, they would never spawn on it. If you would like to look at the exact footage that we ran into with this weird bug, I will post to the archive Twitch stream so you can check it out for yourself. This is built up on our snapshot test server, so I don't have a real download of it, but I will eventually if you guys want one. But hopefully my explanation will allow you to build this up for your 1.14 worlds. A way to easily get Wither Roses while being AFK. So I would like to thank you for watching, and if you found this interesting, show me the like and share this with others. I really appreciate that. And if you want to see more crazy 1.14 farms, as well as other things I've vented, be sure to check out my YouTube channel and all the videos there, as well as subscribe and hit that bell button to get notifications. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask me down in the comments. Bye bye